Erosion Bottle Experiment Soil Erosion Basics Soil erosion is the breakdown and transportation of soil by water, wind, or gravity. Soil erosion is worse on bare soil, especially soil that has been overworked, like overtilled cropland. Soil erosion causes many issues, including loss of healthy soil, sedimentation, and water pollution. Stabilized land is less likely to erode than bare or unstable soil. This includes soil with sturdy plant root systems, mulched soil, and undisturbed or lightly disturbed soil, like low or no-till crop soil. Simulating erosion. With our experiment today, we're going to simulate how erosion looks across three different types of landscapes. Okay, to start off, I've got three empty pop bottles that I have cut large holes into and then glued down onto a piece of cardboard to stabilize them. And inside each of the bottles, I have a different soil sample. On the far left, I have a grassy sample. In the center, I have a sample of soil that has been mulched on top, so there is soil underneath of the mulch. And on the far right is just regular garden soil that has been tilled and worked multiple times throughout the years. Under each of these bottles, I have a cup where the water that flows out of the bottles is going to land after I start pouring and we're going to look at the differences between the three different cups of water. So here's a closer look of what the bottles look like. You can see the grassy bottle on the left. In the center is the bottle with mulch. And on the right is the garden soil bottle. And underneath they have these cups lined up underneath of them to catch the water. So now I'm going to start pouring my water. As I'm pouring the water, keep in mind, what does the water look like? Is it clear? Does it have anything floating in it or sinking to the bottom? What color is it? Now we're going to go ahead and pour our water. We're going to start in the center with the mulch water, just to make sure that it's balanced and nothing tips over. Next, we'll do our tilled garden soil. And finally, our grassy soil. Think about the colors of the soil and water. Is there anything solid in the water? Now we're just going to speed up a little bit and even out our water. Now let's take a closer look at our bottles and at our water. So this cup is from the tilled garden soil. You can see it's pretty dark. There's lots of soil that came in with that water. So a lot of that soil eroded. Next we have our mulched soil. You can see some pieces of mulch floating on the top of the water, and the water is a little bit cloudy, but it's much lighter than the tilled soil water. And finally, our grassy soil water, which is super clear and doesn't have a lot of anything in it at all. It almost looks like water you'd get out of your faucet. And here's a closer look at our soil in our bottles. You can see the tilled soil took quite a hit. A lot of it got washed away. The mulch might be a little bit shifted around, but for the most part, it's still there. And the grassy soil is essentially untouched. It looks exactly like it did when we poured the water in. So what happened in our experiment? The tilled garden soil on the right was washed away into the cup and eroded. It did not have roots to stabilize it, 
and the soil structure was damaged from disturbance like tillage. Most of the mulch stayed in the cup, although a few smaller pieces fell in. Mulch protects soil from raindrop impact, like the water I poured into the cup. And the water from the grassy soil was clear and almost soil-free. Plant roots stabilize soil and support healthy soil and soil structure. This one showed the least erosion.